Your series is dealing with stuff that like a lot of us want to see. I think so. Yeah, well, I, th this is the truth is that when I pitched it, because I came in and I pitched my own idea, you know, I didn't come in and say like, what about baby Han Solo? You know what I mean? Like, sure. it was like, I, I was like, what I'm really interested in is I'm really interested in uh, Star Wars from the perspective of the bad guys. Therefore, if we set something earlier in the timeline, something before the prequels, but a little bit after, you know, end of a high Republic, I was like, then the Jedi become, you know, because Star Wars is always about rebels versus institutional threat, right? Underdogs versus huge empire, right? So if, if we set it then, then the Jedi become the antagonists, not the bad guys, but they become the bad guys to the bad guys. And I gotta say, Kathy really responded to that. She really felt like that was a pocket of the universe that we had not seen, that nobody else had pitched her. And so uh, I continued to develop it. I, I turned it into my elevator pitch. I turned it into um, a bigger, larger pitch for an overall season and, and series. And then I did a little rip reel for her. So honestly, doing what I did today felt very much like pitching Kathy again. I, got, I, I wanna stop you there because one of the things that, that a lot of fans won't know, and I, I sort of want you to actually talk about it, Please, is, yeah. is the fact that like uh, Kathy gets a lot of shit online. Yeah. But but I know that she was the one who made this show. Oh, one hundred percent. And I think I, I want people to realize that there were maybe people in the orbit that were not on board with this show. Well, I think it was. Uh, here's what I'll say. I think it's difficult to do a show that is critical in any way of the Jedi. And I think that you saw that with Ryan's film. Do you know what I mean? Like I think you. I think that I think that that especially in that moment, people were very nervous about saying this particular institution may not be the light and, uh, you know, perfect, stunning group of heroes that are totally nobly intentioned. And when, when one thing that I think Dave would say is that they, they are fallible. That's really the story that George told with the prequels, right? Is, is the default of this particular group. So to me, I went, well, then what happened right before that? You know, he sort of starts in media res and in, in, in Phantom, right? Like, and so I went, well, if you went back further, you know, where are the cracks in the system? How can evil start to rise in the way that it does to the point where literally one of the strongest Sith that ever lived can infiltrate the Senate and none of the Jedi know about it. So I think once you can kind of get people into that place, then they're more supportive. But I think when you think you're going to tell the story about bad guys and the Jedis might be the antagonist to that je to those Jedis, I think that makes people nervous. But it didn't make Kathy nervous. And I and I will say that that room when I pitched her, it was it was probably probably one of the most exciting things because it was it was it it felt like a conversation and less like I was up for a job. Sure. You know what I mean? Like it felt much more like, okay, but what are you going to do about this? And what are you going to do about that? And so I was able to like fold in what I know about Star Wars and what I love about Star Wars into what she's always pushing for, which is, well, what's the emotional through line?